lifestyle. Too late that. I was raised in a different house in a different time. I raised in the AFC, Royal Face Center. If you want to be a man of the Lord, a man of God, you, you, you had to be a man of God. Amen. He placated. I told you, the 21st century saints is a trip. I mean, they got a better edge than me, though. Mm. It's things that we didn't even know that God is declaring now. Yes. yes. Am I right? Yes. We got broad beaded, lambasted, told us what we couldn't do because we wasn't good enough. Come on, mm -hmm. Now we got nothing but grace flowing with grace and truth. Those are the two banks. Yes. Yes. Telling us not only are you able, but I'm going to give you some substance, some words, some, yes. something of significance on the inside of you so that you can be steady. So you walk circumspectly. I'm serious. Back in the days, you just went from church to church, or you went from service to service. Now we got so much information that every day can be wonderful. Yes. Yes. And it's up to us. So let me give you a couple of things, and then we're going to move on to the next point, which I probably won't get to, because, oh, yeah, you look at plenty of time. I got a 40 hour and 50 minutes. No. <laughs> now my mouth will get you right. That's all the reason why we're stuck. No. Let me give you some points real quick. First of all, you got to understand you can't produce the seed of your destiny in Egypt. If you try to produce anything, you cannot produce it in Egypt. You cannot go down. Let, go to Genesis 26. Let me show you. Anybody remember that chapter? Uh, kind of, sort of. Genesis 26. That's where we come, that's where we come from. Real boys. Yeah, that's where it came out of. Remember I did a teaching. I'm going to have to redo it because I always have to revisit it every now and then because it's our vision. Yeah. And but look at this, look at this story. Isaac. Mm -hmm. Remember Abraham, Isaac? Mm -hmm. One of the things you find out, Egypt was always a place that was offered to God's people. Mm -hmm. It says in the 20, uh, 26 and 1, and there was a famine in the land. Uh-oh, his daddy had a famine, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. There was a famine in the land besides the first famine. What was the first famine? In the days of Abraham. Mm -hmm. So his daddy. So he 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 got the same decisions. Right. Mm -hmm. That his daddy had. Yeah. So he got to decide now, right? Yeah. His daddy went down, lied. God brought him out of his mercy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isaac is raised, faced with the same foe. Wow. Now he got to decide what he's going to do, right? Yeah. He says, uh, went unto Abimelech, king of the Philistines, unto Gerard. And the Lord appeared unto him and said, go not down. In Egypt, dwell in the land which I should tell thee of. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is good. It's all can preach. So during in this land, and I will be with thee, and I will bless thee, for unto thee and unto thy seed. Same thing he gave his daddy. Mm -hmm. That's why yes. posterity, family bloodline yes. mm -hmm. are important. Yes. yes. That's why it was important for me to have men of God in my life. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all gonna miss that one. Oh, yeah. He said, I will bless thee. He said, I will perform the oath which I swore unto Abraham thy father, and I will make thy seed to multiply the stars of heaven. I will give unto thy seed all these countries, and then I see just all the nations of the earth be blessed. Because of that, Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge and my commandments and statutes and my law. And Isaac did what God told him. Yes. Yes. Gerard. He didn't go to Egypt. Right. See, it's not by coincidence. We got that option because we're real boys. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're going to have to decide if we're going to stay in Gerar, right. which is a place of circumcision, mm -hmm. wow. uh, or we're going to go down to Egypt. Wow. Yeah. Easy out. Wow. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that went tight, did it? It just like it went up another notch. Yeah. We got to decide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Sure. You got to decide. Am I going to follow the instructions? Do I have enough witness? Do I have any type of prophetic utterance over my life? Mm -hmm. That is your rudder. That is your anchor. That is your guidance system. What God has spoken over your life. Y'all don't understand it. Okay, whoever had a prophetic word in this house? Not, okay, whoever had a prophetic word, period. Yeah. Okay, that's the, that means it had, in this house, because I had to just enlarge it a little bit, because some of us haven't figured it out yet. But you want me to point you out? I know a whole bunch of y'all in here who got a prophetic word. Uh, you see, we don't raise a hand because we're going to be held accountable. Yeah. 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 That's all. 
But you got to remind yourself. You have to encourage yourself in the Lord. Yeah. I'm not going to leave my place to satisfy my flesh. Yeah. And you got to speak to yourself. You got to tell yourself. Ain't nobody going to give you that, that, that ability. Okay? You got to understand that. Next thing, go to Genesis 43 32. We're hanging in Genesis. Let me clarify some things. Now, this is the story of Joseph. Right? Joseph is now in Egypt. He's ruling, reigning. Second in charge to Potiphar. Right? His, his brothers, I believe, comes up. Because there's a time of famine. Right? And so his brother went up to Egypt twice. But look at this. It's something trans, something transpired, transpired when um, his brother showed up. When they didn't yet, when they just got a revelation of who Joseph was. And it says, and they said for him. Am I right? 43, 30? Yeah, I'm right. And they said on for him by himself. Talking about uh, <laughs> Joseph separated from his brothers. Right? And for them by themselves, and for the Egyptians, which did eat with him by themselves. So, Joseph, because he's in charge, he's a dignitary, he said by himself. Then you got those who was in the company said by themselves, and then you got the Egyptians sitting by themselves. Oh, that went good, didn't it? Oh, can me help y'all? Because y'all look at me. Uh, he said, because the Egyptians might not eat bread with the Hebrews. For that is an abomination unto the Egyptians. This, let me mock a prayer for you. Table was spread. Invitation was given. Everybody was hungry. But the Hebrews and the Egyptians could not connect. Couldn't sit at the same table. <sighs> table, table, communion. Huh? It's, it's a table. You know, he said he'll prepare a table in the presence of our enemies. So yes. there's a table. That, that's a place of communion. That's a place of intimacy. That's a place where we get to know God. But in this story, prophetically, it's saying you can tell who the Hebrews and Egyptians is. Mm -hmm. 